Here's example 7 with implicit differentiation. Uh, now what we're going to do is find the equation of the normal line of the curve 2x squared minus 3xy plus 2y squared equals 44 uh, at the point 7 comma 6. So um, in the last example, in example 6, uh, we found the equation of the tangent line. Um, so here in example 7, now we're going to do the normal line. Uh, the process is actually pretty much going to be almost identical. Um, the only difference is uh, what's a normal line? Well, first of all, we know a tangent line, it lies tangent to the curve at one point, right? Um, but a normal line, that's the line that's perpendicular to the tangent line. So we're pretty much going to do the same stuff as before, but there's going to be one teeny tiny extra step. Um, and the extra step is when we find the value of the derivative at this point, 7 comma 6, we have to find the uh, negative reciprocal so that we have the slope of the normal line, okay? Um, because the derivative gives us the slope of the tangent line, but the normal line is perpendicular to the tangent line. So if we want the slope of the normal line, then we have to take the negative reciprocal of the slope of the tangent line. Okay, so um, we'll go through that again when we get there. But for now, uh, let's just go ahead and start off uh, just like we did before. So we're just going to find the derivative uh, using implicit differentiation. And then we're going to find the value at this point. So 2x squared minus 3xy plus 2y squared equals 44. Give ourselves a little bit of room. And uh, first step is to take the derivative of both sides here with respect to x. So ddx of the left equals ddx of the right. OK. Um, now, on the left, what happens on the left? Uh, differentiate term by term, just like we always do. Uh, and ddx of 2x squared, that's uh, fairly straightforward. It's just going to be 2 times 2x. Uh, so that's 4x. All right. And then what happens over here? Uh, minus, now we have a minus. Then, now we have a product here that we're differentiating. Um, so let's say 3x is the first, and y will be the second. So product rule says derivative. Uh, product rule says the derivative of a product is going to be uh, derivative of the first thing, which is three, uh, multiplied by the second thing, which is y. Okay. So the uh, the first thing is three x, so its derivative is three. The second thing is y, so derivative of the first times the second, and then plus the first, which is three x, times the derivative of the second, which is dy dx. All right. Now we have to be extremely careful because we have this minus sign out in front here. So this minus sign um, is going to affect this entire uh, derivative here. okay? Because um, the derivative of this term is this whole thing here in these parentheses. So it's really minus uh, this entire derivative here. So be very careful with that. Um, it is really easy to forget that, especially um, when you're doing you know, derivative and you have the product rule. Because um, you have these two terms that come from one term. So it's easy to forget that the minus sign affects both of these. Um, but make sure to keep that in mind. It's very important. Um, anyway, moving on. Now we have plus uh, 2y squared. The derivative is going to be 2 times 2y times dy dx. All right. Or in other words, just 4y dy dx. Just like this was a 4x, um, we're going to have a 4 over here for the same reason. So let's just go ahead and put that in now then. 4y dy dx equals what? Uh, on the right side, we just have 44, just a constant, so its derivative is 0. So that's nice. OK, now um, let's go ahead and distribute this minus sign. So rather than rewrite the whole thing again, um, let's just distribute it up here. So that's just going to change this plus to a minus, and that's pretty much that. Um, now let's go ahead and continue. Uh, we want to get dy dx by itself on one side. So everything with a dy dx, we'll just leave it on the left. Everything without a dy dx is going to go on the right. So we're going to subtract 4x and add 3y to both sides. So on the left, we have negative 3x dy dx plus 4y dy dx equals what? Um, we add 3y to both sides, so let's just say 3y. And we subtracted 4x from both sides, so minus 4x. OK, so now the next step is to uh, factor dy dx from the left. So when we do that, we're going to end up with minus 3x plus 4y. Um, that quantity times dy dx 
equals the right hand side is still the same for now, 3y minus 4x. Okay. Now we just divide both sides by this quantity here to get dy dx by itself. So now we have dy dx equals uh, 3y minus 4x divided by negative 3x plus 4y. All right. So that's our derivative. Now we need to, uh, what are we doing here? We're finding the equation of the normal line uh, at this point here. So what we need to do is find the uh, equation, or sorry, find the slope of the tangent line, okay? And the slope of the tangent line uh, is the same thing as the value of the derivative, all right? Now once we have the slope of the tangent line, we can take the negative reciprocal to get the slope of the normal line, because remember the, uh, the tangent line and the normal line, they're perpendicular. So the product of their slopes is negative one, so remember that means that uh, if you have the slope of one of them, just take the negative reciprocal to get the slope of the other one. Okay, um, and then that's going to be helpful because then uh, if this line is normal to this curve at this point, that means that the line goes through this point, so this point is on the normal line. So what we'll have is a point on the line and the slope of the normal line, uh, and then we can use those to get the equation, just like in example six. Um, so remember, in general, uh, if you want to find the equation of any line, you've got to have the slope of the line and at least one point on the line. Okay. So, uh, we need to find the value of the derivative at this point, 7, 6. So dy dx evaluated at x, y equals 7, 6 equals. Okay, because once we find this value, that's going to be the uh, slope of the tangent line at that point. So this is 3 times 6 minus 4 times 7. Uh, divided by negative 3 times 7 plus 4 times 6. Okay, so what we simplify, that's going to be uh, 6 times 3 is 18, and then minus 4 times 7 is minus 28. Okay, uh, and then on the bottom we have negative 3 times 7 is minus 21, plus 4 times 6 is plus 24. So 18 minus 28, that's negative 10. And on the bottom, we have negative 21 plus 24. That's positive 3. So negative 10 thirds is our derivative. Now, again, um, be, we have to be very careful here because we're looking for the equation of the normal line. So what we found is the derivative. Uh, we found the value of the derivative at this point, 7, 6. Um, and remember, the derivative is the same thing as the slope of the tangent line. So in other words, negative 10 thirds is the slope of the tangent line. All right. Now the normal line is perpendicular to the tangent line, so to find the slope of the normal line, um, we need to take the negative reciprocal of the slope of the tangent line. So negative 10 thirds is the slope of the tangent line, so its negative reciprocal is positive 3 tenths. So that means that uh, slope of normal line is positive 3 tenths. So now we have the slope of the normal line, and we have a point on the normal line, 7, 6. So let's use both of those to uh, get the equation of the normal line. All right? And then just like in the last video, um, at the end, we'll see a picture of the graph. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, we're going to get the equation for now, then look at the picture. So the slope is 3 tenths, and the point is 7, 6. And from here, again, it's pretty much a pre-calculus thing. Uh, we're just going to use the point-slope form for the equation of a line. So the point slope form says it's a uh, y minus 6 equals 3 tenths, okay, 3 tenths uh, times the quantity x minus 7. All right. And uh, depending on your instructor or whatever you're doing, this might be an okay answer, but um, slope intercept is kind of a nice form, so let's just go ahead and do that. Uh, so if we distribute the 3 tenths, we're going to have y minus 6 equals... 3 tenths x minus uh, 21 over 10, all right? And then we're just going to add 6 to both sides. So let's add 6 over here, and then uh, if we add 6 over here, that's just going to cancel that. Um, so we just have y by itself over here. Now 3 tenths x minus 21 over 10 plus 6, uh, we want to get a common denominator. So 6 is the same thing as 60 over 10, all right? And minus 21 over 10 plus 60 over 10, that's going to be 39 over 10. So y equals 3 tenths x plus 
uh, 39, that's a 9. Let's try that again. 39 over 10. Okay, and this is the equation of our normal line, all right? So y equals 3 times x plus 39 over 10. So um, if we were to graph that, we would see that this line is perpendicular to uh, the tangent line at this, uh, of this curve at that point. But remember, the slope of the tangent line and the slope of the curve are the same thing. So if the normal line is perpendicular to the tangent line, then the normal line is also perpendicular to the curve. Um, and what does that mean? That means uh, the normal line intersects this curve at a 90 degree angle. Um, just like the normal line intersects the tangent line at a 90 degree angle. So let's just go ahead and take a look at the picture. And we'll see what's going on with that there. Okay, so this red curve here um, is kind of a, a tilted ellipse. Well, it, that, that is what it is. Um, and this blue line here is our normal line. Okay, so uh, this red ellipse here, that's our curve 2x squared minus 3xy plus 2y squared equals 44. And this blue line is our normal line, uh, y equals 3 tenths x plus 39 over 10. So we can zoom into this point up here and we'll see. Um, it's kind of hard to tell, but the blue line does intersect the curve at a 90 degree angle. It might be a little bit easier to see if we also put the tangent line up there. So we didn't find the equation of the tangent line, but if you're curious, uh, just for fun, the equation of the tangent line is y equals negative 10 thirds x plus 88 over 3. So if we put the tangent line on there also, then here's what we have. Okay, so this magenta line that we've just added, um, that's our tangent line. Now it's much easier to see that the two straight lines, they intersect each other at a right angle, okay, at 90 degrees. So um, this blue line here, that's our normal line because it intersects the tangent line at a right angle, all right? Um, so just for fun, just because it's already there, let's go ahead and take a closer look uh, here. So here's a blown up look, sort of, of our red curve and the normal line and then we'll look at it again with the tangent line on there also. All right. So that's example seven, uh, finding the normal line to a curve at a, spe uh, at a specified point.